WNIJ Studios on the campus of Northern Illinois University. This is Sessions from Studio A. Sometimes impulsive decisions can end up leading to good things, like when Gabriel Brown and Kyle Roberts of Superbrick decided to move to Memphis to devote themselves more to their music, and they ended up meeting their new lead singer, Bethany Fickthorn. I called him, I'm like, hey, I dropped out of college, I don't know how to tell my parents, like, <laughs> do you want to move to Memphis? <laughs> Hear that story and our live recording with Superbrick coming up this hour on a brand new Sessions from Studio A. It's right after these headlines from NPR. Welcome to Sessions from Studio A. I'm Spencer Tritt, and our guest this week is Super Brick. Part rock and roll, part punk, with a love of the blues thrown in the mix. We'll hear the genre-blending trio this hour with a performance recorded live in Studio A. I'll also talk with band members later on. But first, this is Super Brick performing Windows Down on Sessions from Studio A. <laughs>
the knickknacks And it seems to me that photographs are just people's way of staring into time Yeah, she's people's way of staring into time just people's way of staring into time just people's way of staring into time just This is Sessions from Studio A, and you just heard Super Brick playing live in Studio A. I'm here now with the band. Thanks for joining us in DeKalb and Studio A, everybody. Thank you so Thank much you for, for having, having us. us. Absolutely. <laughs> We're really excited to be here. Um, give us, to start off, give us your, your name and tell us what you're playing in the band here today. Me first? Let's okay, start us off. Yeah, I am Kyle Roberts, and I play guitar. I'm Bethany Fickthorn. I play the bass, and I sing. I'm Gabriel Brown, and I hit stuff with sticks. There we go. <laughs> Eloquent. <laughs> and where are you guys from? What's kind of home base for the band? Um, so we're in Belvedere. Yeah, we're in Belvedere now. We've been here for about three years. Uh, I'm from Memphis originally, uh, and these guys are not from not too far away. They're from Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah. So, so Belvedere is home now. All right. What brought all of you to to Northern it's, Illinois? It's Just curious. It's very complicated. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's your mouth. Um, so okay, story time. I'm 17 years old, going to graduate high school. I live up in Wisconsin, but I'm playing guitar a lot. And I know some people in Memphis, Tennessee, that are blues guitarist players. They're like, come on down here. We'll play music. And okay, that's the so, connection there. Yeah. So I moved down there with this guy, Gabe. I had just dropped out of college. I called him. I'm like, hey, I dropped out of college. I don't know how to tell my parents, like... <laughs> Do you want to move to Memphis? <laughs> but, all right, I have a plan. So I called, like, all right, I dropped out of college, but I'm going to go move 800 miles away and try to make music work. Is this better? <laughs> we had $700 and some 90s broken van. It made it down there. It made it, and then it didn't move after that. <laughs> so you were stuck down there. Yeah. I remember exactly. I still have my check. From the first paycheck I got down south, I had 69 cents left in my bank account. I still have that check. That's what we had left total. <laughs> wow. Anyways. And then uh, so you met Bethany down there then? Yep. Yeah. So Gabe and I were playing in a duo. Yep. Uh, we Brother were Boulevard. Brother Boulevard. And we played around Memphis and Mississippi and what you, what you have you, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then I met Bethany. That's me. This is her. And we were writing songs that, you know, I couldn't sing anymore. Because like I was, I was singing blues. That's all I knew, and I sucked at it. <laughs> <laughs> so all of a sudden, we're like, these are more sophisticated than like what I think. Okay, well, let's. Okay. Yeah. So get Bethany in the band, and we begged her. It was like, hey, do you want to sing this song with us? Hey, do you want to help us finish writing this song? Hey, do you want to learn bass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just kind of step by step, and then we're like, I guess we're a band, and then it's, what do we call ourselves? And, and then it was bagel for a while. For like two minutes, and then we eventually We had a few good names, break. like Stunt Dolphin. Stunt, Stunt Dolphin, Dolphin Elastic cool. Screwdriver, I stand by. That yeah. one's pretty good, too. Wow, all kinds of great names. <laughs> yeah. I, I wanted to ask how you how you settled on the name Super Brick. Where oh, did that come another from? that's another story. That's a game I'll story. Tell, that story. tell us that story. That was an all of us story. Yeah. But uh, we had another van. Uh, Chevy G20 conversion van. It's blue on the outside with silver stripes, we right? We painted a brick it's on the side of it. blue eventually. shag carpeting, blue <laughs> curtains. A nice right. captain seat. I missed that. Swiveling band. captain seats. It was oh, wow. rad. It's awesome. Okay. And we painted a big brick on the side of it with wings. And it was the flying brick. So we were at a party, and we're all hanging out in the van because it had shag carpeting. It was nice in there. And there was this guy who was just 
off his mind on mushrooms. And we're trying to find a good name for the band. And he's like, dude, Super Brick. Name of the van, name of the band. We're like, that's not the name of the van. It's the Flying Brick. It's like, name of the van, name of the band, man. We're like, we'll call it that if you stop. Yeah, so we were like, I guess that's a pretty good name. So we're Super Brick now. Yeah. We're wow. Super Brickyard Boys. That's hilarious. Well, shout out to uh, that guy, wherever he is. Yeah, right. He is I hope you're okay, somewhere. Ben. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shine on, you crazy diamond. <laughs> Describe the sound of, of Super Brick. You guys kind of have this fusion of a lot of different things going on here. Yeah. How, how would you describe the band to someone who's never heard you before? Um, Bethany, you haven't I, talked much. Yeah, I guess uh, I think, I guess I'd call it moody alternative. Not that it's all uh, somber or anything, but. It's still got that blues influence. But we do have uh-huh. some of that blues background in there that, that peeks through. Um and just with all of our different tastes in music, I think um, it's just kind of a menagerie, like a yeah. We don't when we sit down to write, we never really think about genre. We just write. Yeah, we just go with whatever comes, like whatever fits the idea. Whether it starts with a lyric or with a, a guitar line or a single note, and we're like, that sounds cool. Let's do something off of that. Um, so I wouldn't say it's really confined.
Everything is all right, all right. Put you on the corner to lay a light. All right, the sunrise and I for you. Super Brick, recorded live in WNIJ's Studio A. You can find music from them streaming on Spotify and Apple Music, and check out Super Brick on Instagram and Facebook for more. Stay with us, we'll be right back after the short break with more conversation with the band and more of that live recording, coming up on Sessions from Studio A. Welcome back to Sessions from Studio A. Our guest this hour is Super Brick. They put out an album back in 2019 titled Album One. We'll talk about that with them in a little bit here, but they've got a lot of new music coming up here in the session. We'll hear one of those new songs now. This one's called Happy Ending. It's Super Brick on Sessions from Studio A. <laughs> Into the 
library She reads a book all three Taking a stroll now Yeah, she's using both her when she gets home, she goes right to sleep. It's far from here. I'd let me see you roll. Far from here. All those hurtful anecdotes. Far from here. It's a possibility. You'll never stumble across things you thought you forgot. Across things you thought you forgot I've ever stumbled Across things you thought you forgot You guys also have this kind of quiet, loud dynamic in a lot of the songs, which I love. That's something we try to work on a lot. We like, like try to focus on when we're writing is uh, we don't want anything to just be one line all the way through. We mm. had, Gabe and I were in school together. We yeah, were in high we school in together. High school. And we had a band instructor who was absolutely amazing. Great teacher. Phenomenal band instructor. Um, but if we didn't hit our dynamics <laughs> in the orchestra... He would throw bass drums at us. <laughs> he would flip out. Have you ever watched Whiplash? Every time I watch that movie, I get flashbacks. Are you rushing? <laughs> oh, man. Super nice guy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been legitimately one of my favorite teachers. He did a lot for us, but before anything else, it was dynamics. That's just so how it's... we were taught music before anything else. It doesn't matter if you played the notes wrong, if the dynamics are right, the feeling will still be there. Mm hmm. So we really try to incorporate that, a lot of dynamic changes, making sure our lows are lows and our highs are highs so you don't lose the middle. And your, your uh, solos too, uh, Kyle, they kind of have that, that quiet, loud, um, totally blues-influenced too. Do you, yeah. you mentioned you were singing blues too before. Is that a big part of your background? Yeah, so I have a big background in blues music specifically. Like I, I um, Before I moved to Memphis, I had traveled from Wisconsin to Memphis um, to play in places like Beale Street, B.B. King's Blues Club, um, just sit in with other bands. Oh, um, cool. Just because uh, my mom is one of those people that knows a lot of people, and those people know a lot of people. So like, I was like, very lucky to have connections very young. So I was 15, going back and forth from Wisconsin to Memphis to play gigs down there. And that's why I moved. And then I lived down there for about five years. Or so about. about five years, three of those years um, to start, um, I was um, fronting my own blues show, right? So it would be me on the guitar and vocals, and then I would have you know bands step in to back me up and this and that, and that's kind of I was kind of getting bored of that. It's like this, you know, there's no bond, you know, mm, yeah. when you, like you you know these guys because they're around, they're in the circuit, and you're friends and all, but you don't really get the chemistry not to mention when you're doing that especially on places like beale street it's all covers it has to be yeah. that's what people want to hear and they want to hear the standards i love playing those old blues songs you know i used to joke when i was playing i'm playing the best of the 30s and 40s <laughs> <laughs> um uh, but i've always been really into like i want to write my own music i want to write what i want to write and i want to write what i want to hear right um so that's when Gabe and I decided, let's just, you know, pop yeah. up this duo. And then we had a few songs. We played around quite a bit. Yeah, mostly down um, in Mississippi. but that, For but. me, before Super Brick, all blues. It was, gotcha. That's all it was. Yeah. But you kind of always had this, like, itch to oh, yeah, my create your own, too. And into the alternative side, my favorite band's the Smashing Pumpkins, mm. right? So, like, that just, it doesn't. <laughs> Where's the parallel between blues and yeah, the pumpkins, right? It is a so it's gap. <laughs> so it's always been kind of like a a weird kind of puzzle to fit together in my head. So I, I think you know when I'm writing songs for Super Brick and with Super Brick, um, I think you can kind of hear like those two clashing in a good way. Well, I, I mean, feel like the blues is the roots of so much American music that it can kind of go with anything if you play it right because it's yeah. a lot of it is rooted in the fundamentals of blues. 
So you guys put out an album in 2019, your first record, and it's <laughs> properly titled uh, Album One. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, we were very creative back then. Um. <laughs> tell us about that first album. Just imagine taking a big box full of stuff and shaking it around, and that's kind of what it felt like in the first few weeks of what, like, uh, us as a band. Two, three of those were just solo acoustic stuff from you because we didn't have any other songs. Yeah, yeah, we were like, we had just, you know, just named the band. We had the, we had the name now, and we were like, let's just do something to solidify it. So we um, talked to our friend Spence, uh, Spence Bailey, and he had a little basement studio. Um, it was an old radio station, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was like, I've never recorded anything, but I'll record you guys. And we went over there and we recorded all six songs in one day. So what, like 10 hours it or something? It was 14 hours. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> 14 hours. Um, I had never recorded anything before. I was like super nervous. Um, the drums were done after hour five and I just sat on the couch. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we just kind of threw it together. Like some of the songs we had, like the, the three songs that we had with all of us, it was... Um, we had just been practicing them for maybe a well, couple I of think, weeks. And uh, I have just been finished like a few days before. So on that first record, you guys are pretty pretty fresh all Super fresh. Oh, yeah. just started playing together. I oh, didn't yeah. even and own a bass is. guitar yet. Um, <laughs> wow. so you didn't play bass on I didn't play bass on the album. I played guitar on Our a friend, song or two. David Barton played bass. Yeah. My my brother, not brother, David Barton played for us. Um He's awesome, um, so it was great to have him on that. It, yeah, super fresh. I think I don't think I got my first bass guitar until a few months after that. I found one at a pawn shop. You're hearing my talk with members of Super Brick. Let's get back into their live recording in WNIJ's Studio A with another new one from the band. This is titled Old Friends. It's Super Brick on Sessions from Studio A. <laughs>
Super Brick, recorded live in WNIJ's Studio A. Stay tuned with us here. There's still more music coming up this hour. And you can find more from Super Brick streaming on Spotify and Apple Music. And give them a follow on social media. They're on Facebook and Instagram at Super Brick. Stay tuned for more music coming up. This is Sessions from Studio A. Welcome back to Sessions from Studio A. If you're just joining us, our guest is Super Brick. Let's get right back into the music. This set was recorded live in WNIJ's Studio A. And if you like what you're hearing, you can find more from the band streaming on Spotify and Apple Music. It's Super Brick on Sessions from Studio A. Have you ever loved yourself? You got 
Super Brick, recorded live in WNIJ's Studio A, and closing out their set with that song, Recluse. A big thanks to Gabriel Brown, Kyle Roberts, and Bethany Fickthorn for joining us and performing in Studio A, and thanks to you for listening in. Go follow Super Brick on social media. They're on Facebook and Instagram at Super Brick, and you can find their music streaming on Spotify and Apple Music. Check out behind-the-scenes video from this set over on WNIJ.org, along with this full episode. If you are a local artist or you're in a band and you'd like to be featured on our show, send us in a submission by emailing sessions at niu.edu. Sessions from Studio A is produced at WNIJ Studios on the campus of Northern Illinois University. Producers are yours truly and Mike Lundgren. I'm Spencer Tritt, and thanks so much for joining me this week on Sessions from Studio A.